would eat with him. And, and, and he went into the Pharisee's house and sat down at me. Huh? You, you're doing good that, 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 that the law can stop with you and you with him. Uh, and he can open the doors of his house and you can open the doors of your heart. I'm just saying, amen? amen. I, 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 I thank God. I give God praise, glory, and honor. Oh, mm -hmm. he, said, he said, look at what he said. He said, and, 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 and one of the Pharisees, amen? One of the Pharisees, now this, this is a Pharisee. Now the Pharisees uh, uh, see things twofold. They, 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 they're said to believe in the written laws and in the oral laws of the, uh, 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 the, uh, uh, the traditions of the Jews. Uh, uh, they, they, they said it has both resurrection and angels. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I want to just paint a picture of where he's at. And it said, And behold, a woman in the city which was a sinner, when she knew that Jesus was at the meat, at meat in the Pharisee's house, brought an alabaster box of ornament. And, and stood at the feet behind him, weeping. She stood at the feet, weeping. And, and began to wash his feet with her tears, and then wiped them with the hairs of her head, and kissed his feet and anointed them with the ornament. Now, when the Pharisee, which had been, saw it, he spoke within himself saying, you know, how people people got a habit of thinking things about you. Yeah. <laughs> said within himself, saying, this man, if he was a prophet, would have known who and what matter a woman this year that, that touched him. For she is a sinner. Now, I know what Jesus would probably say. As he was saying that, now I'm just saying it because of what Jesus said. He probably was saying, if you was a Pharisee and knew who it is that walked into your house, come on, somebody. <laughs> I'm just saying, huh? Come on now, huh? You, you quick to judge somebody. Uh, but you ain't gonna lie who in here. Come on, somebody, huh? You 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 look at it as a prophet. You ain't even seen the Lord walk up in it. Come on, somebody, huh? He said, uh, look what he said. He said, and, and, and this is that touch him, for she is a sinner. Jesus answered, said unto him, Simon, I have somewhat to say unto thee. You, you know, if that was a message, it would be stop blocking your blessing. Stop, stop blocking your blessing. Uh, 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 I'm just saying, amen. So, 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 you know, because we got to get there. Uh, we got to get there, amen. Stop being your own way Stop, stop, stop blocking your blessing. Uh, uh, this is something he said within himself. See, when a man is drawn away, he's drawn away of his own. Mm. Uh, he's talking to himself. You ever heard people say, I'm, I've been talking to myself. Yeah, you ought to quit that now. That ain't good. Yeah, it, it's better to talk with God. I'm just saying, huh? that's that just me. Huh? You keep talking to yourself if you want to. Probably done went to the house of and everything else. And you the one with sense. I hear you. Mm -hmm. and, and, and Jesus answered, said unto him, Simon, 
have somewhat to say unto thee. And he said, Master, say on. There was a certain creditor which had two debtors. The one owed 500 pennies and the other 50. And when they had nothing to pay, he frankly forgave, oh, praise be to God. One of them had 500 pennies they owed. And the other one didn't owe but, but 50. See, the funny thing about it, but both of them sent them. Both of them in debt. Y'all don't want to talk to me, huh? See, 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 the pot calls it the kettle. Uh, I'm just saying, amen. See, your sin ain't what his is, and you feel like his is better because of what society y'all don't want to talk to me. Don't make no difference what Jesus said, but what God said. You in a better place than there. You ain't on dope. You just done drunk up all the alcohol in town. Y'all don't want to talk to me. <laughs> Hmm? Uh, you ain't you ain't no lie. You just cuss everybody out you be. I'm just saying, huh? You don't cuss somebody in open. You cuss somebody. You you cuss somebody in the back room. You don't cuss in front of folks. You cuss but in, in the back room. You ain't just a, a cursor. You a hypocrite. Y'all don't want to talk to me. But everybody else is a liar, so they ain't no good. Mm, boy, y'all. Lord, I thank you. And when they had nothing to pay, mm, 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 nothing to pay, can't get up out of this, you know? he frankly forgave them both. Tell me, wherefore, well, which of them will love him most? Simon answered and said, I suppose that he of whom he forgave most. He said unto him, Thou hast rightfully judged finally. I can just say finally. He, he said, Thou hast rightfully judged. And he turned to the woman and said unto Simon, See thou this woman? I entered into thine house, and thou gave me no water to wash my feet. Huh? Now, 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 we know it, it's hungry and submission just to, to, to wash the feet of the saints. We know Jesus, he, 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 he unrolled himself and wrapped the towel around him and washed up the feet of the saints. But now, but now, but now, Jesus just walked into his house and he didn't give him no water. Oh, y'all don't want to talk to me in that. See, 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 so, so this woman, she has not ceased from watching. Now Abraham, if it had been Abraham's house, who he proclaimed to be connected to, would have watched the feet uh, uh, of the Lord and his angels. Come on, somebody. Uh, it would have watched the foot of his entourage. Everybody in that would have received it. See, 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 we, the Bible said he that received who God sent, but, you know, we got a habit of, 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 of receiving people in our own way. That wasn't what God was talking about. See, 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 we receive people that, are, oh, okay, hey, brother, like it, blah, blah, blah. Hey, brother, uh, no, 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 no. It, it, it was given the hospitality. You, 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 you got that. And see, the hospitality, see, see what's happening here. Is this, it, it, it Simon didn't receive him in his house. Y'all don't want to talk to me. I don't know who out there knocking his own blessing, but, but the woman received him in her heart. Y'all don't want to talk to me. See, 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 see. She, 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 she feeling him, huh? She, she, she hungry. She, she know. Oh, y'all. See, see, this story started. Now, this started out right there. I don't know whether you started reading uh, Luke at the seventh chapter, the third, some verse, or you went to the first verse. Because if you'd have went to the first verse, you'd have found out that that was a centurion. Huh? And, and, and he was one of them fellas that was. Uh, ain't nobody else in here really like him. He's just humble. He, he received the Lord in his heart. He had a heart relationship with God and didn't have a lip relationship with God. Somebody, uh huh? I don't know who knocking their blessing with all that lip service, but ain't got no heart service, huh? Uh, I thank God. I give God the praise, the glory. It's easy to 
Go up and hey, praise the Lord, glory, hallelujah, and go out and cuss somebody out. And if y'all don't want to talk to me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But, but, but God is seeking those that love him with all their heart. God, when they love him with all their heart. See, see, see one thing about God. He come to teach. He didn't come to be taught. And if God can't teach you, y'all don't want to talk to me. Thank the Lord. God was giving me something about, see, this is about order. This is about order. The centurion is in an order. He's a soldier. He's about order. God gave me some stuff about a refrigerator, about some order. But he told me this morning, he said, some of them, you've been wrestling with some of them, because they ain't trying to hear nothing. But, 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 but those that are hearing something are going on and prospering, and they see in a prospering, but they thought they were going to be able to defeat you. They thought you were going to be able to frustrate you. They thought the witchcraft, the witchcraft was going to be greater, but they see others listening and prospering, and now they want to catch up. What it messed up. Uh, it's sad when you had a word given to you firsthand, but be the last one. Ooh, come on, somebody. Huh? Mm, I don't know about y'all, but I, I like to go to breakfast. I like to get my hot off the grill. Mm, I don't. I don't want to eat mine after it got cold. Come on, somebody, hey, amen. So when the word come out of God's mouth. I want to be the early bird to get. Come on, somebody. I'm just saying, hey, amen. I don't want to be in the last of the line because if I'm in the last or in the middle of the line, praise be to God. Somebody else. You ever, you ever had a new paper to read? And somebody else that didn't know how to read a new paper and read it. And it's all taken apart in 13 and what 14 is. And 14, how y'all want it? Huh? I'm just saying, hey, amen. So there's no order in it. And if there's no order in life, there's chaos. And if there's chaos, then God is not the author of chaos. <laughs> Come on, somebody. He's not the author of confusion. So if there is no order in your life, then there is no God in your life. It's only that. They, they say it out in the world, you perpetrate real good. <laughs> That's what you're doing, hey amen. But you ain't grew from the world. Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody. You ain't, you, ain't, you ain't got yourself together. See, you're your own worst enemy. You don't know it. Uh -huh. and you curse what God cursed, but you decline about it because you can't curse what God cursed. You just look like you stagnate, but God got a set time. Uh -huh. and, and your curse is going to testify against you. Your witchcraft is going to testify against you. Your sorcery is going to testify against you. Your going to see the old lady to tell you what to do is going to testify against you. You watch see what I tell you. Hey, y'all, ba ba shot. Mm, come on, somebody. I'm just saying. I thank the Lord now. I get God to pray. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Now, look, 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 look at what he said. Look at what he said now. Because you, 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 you see the centurion. He, he's a he's a he's a he's a military man, so they drill order in him. And this woman here, she she's not she's not she see what you got to realize. Now now if you read this here, you got to read it with some sense because now he's sitting down and she's standing behind him. He's sitting down and she's standing behind him, but yet she's washing her his feet with her tear from behind him. How do you do, how do you watch somebody's feet when you standing behind them? You gotta really want to watch their feet. Mm -hmm. um, you gotta, see, 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 why is, why is she standing behind them? Why is she, huh? Because she knows order. And not only does she know order, she don't feel like she's worthy. Come on, somebody, amen, to stand before him. So she stands behind him. And, and, and the water that's coming from her is being developed out of her heart. So he's coming to her heart. He's coming to her house where she lives in. See, come on, somebody, I'm just saying, amen. See, Simon, he's coming to Simon's house where he lives in. 
but it's only lip service because Simon didn't lay out the red carpet. Simon didn't put no water down. Simon didn't clean up the entourage, but she watched in his feet. Oh, come on, somebody. See, there's a relationship that you have to have with God, and it has to come from more than just out of your mouth. You got to talk more than a good game. You got to be a doer and not just a, come on, hear of somebody. Uh, uh, I heard the Lord say he's taking me to an expected end, but you got to get out of your way. Yes. You get out of the way, you got you to come down out your high horse. And Simon is, is religious, he's leader, he's this and that, but he's in his way. He's blocking his own blessing. I don't know who in here that a God is talking to the day that's been standing there and he got nowhere because you, come on somebody, because you blocking your own way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you, you know this and know that. But uh, at the end of the day, you don't know the whole story. Amen. Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause, see, this, 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 this book, see, we, we, we jumped into the last part of the seventh chapter. But yet in the middle of it, there's a story about John Allen. Uh -huh. And Jesus said, out of all the prophets, that there's none that's greater than that came up out of a woman's womb that's greater than John. Oh, wait a minute now. Out of all the prophets that done came, here come this John the Baptist. And ain't no prophet greater than him that came up out of a woman's womb. Now you gotta get me, you gotta, you gotta give me some understanding about this. How is he so much greater than the rest of these prophets that came up out of a woman's womb? Well, when you read your Bible, you find a prophet in there that actually acknowledged Jesus, that was sent and acknowledged Jesus. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. See, see, John the Baptist, he said, he that, he that sent me to baptize. Come on, somebody with water. Huh? 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 And I come to, 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 to acknowledge Jesus. Somebody don't want to. See, because of your relationship, because of your freedom, because of who you tied up with, you don't want to acknowledge who God sent. You want to sit back and while they're talking, see, you want to sit over there. You want to be a friend of who God sent. But you want to sit over there and listen to people that talk negative about who God sent. And two or three years later, when them seeds that they planted that you set up in that couple with, that you didn't kill from the start, when they begin to grow up in you, and when them vines begin to wrap around your tree that's supposed to be going, I heard somebody say, get out of your own, own way. Huh? See, because John said, Behold, the Lamb of God, take him away, see. Huh? And I didn't even know him, but he told me to who the Spirit of God ascend. Come on, somebody. And remain now. Huh? He said, Jesus, you ain't had no big cry. He said, Jesus, everybody ain't supported you in this way or that way. He said, but God has acknowledged your standing. Huh? Come on, somebody. He said, God has acknowledged you before the people. Amen. Oh, I thank God. I give God praise for God is good. And he's good all the time. Not some of the time, not most of the time, but all the time. Amen. I, 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 I give God praise, glory, and honor. God is God, God, God is all right. God is all right, God is all right. God is all right. I, I, I thank God. I hear God praise, glory, and honor. Not, 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 huh? I heard the Lord say, not, not my will, but thy will be done. Huh? I, I, I hear God pray. See, see, because, see, God is taking you somewhere, and, and, and you in your own, you in your own, you in your own way. You in your own way. I, 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 I thank God today. I, I, I give God praise, glory, and honor. 
because God is, and come on somebody, see, 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 the way you receive Jesus Christ is, is, the, is, is in your home. The way that you receive Jesus Christ is in your heart. See, everybody don't receive Jesus in order in their heart. Some people feel that because they go to church, that they have actually received Jesus Christ in their heart. Some people feel like because they sang in the choir, they have actually received Jesus Christ in their heart. Some people feel like, amen, because they pray and call out, that they have actually received Jesus Christ in their heart. But when you receive Jesus in your heart, well, I like my heart off the press now. When we sit and eat breakfast, it's going to be hot. And it's going to be fixed up real good because the Lord is coming to eat with me. And when I go to him, everything's going to be real good because everything God does is good. Come on, somebody. So I got, I, got, I got to mimic God. I got to do what I see God doing. If everything's good when I go to his house, then everything got to be good when, it come, come on somebody, when he comes to my house. Uh, if he know how to treat me in his house, if he bless me in his house, see, you can be married to people and you can do everything for them. But they always got something to complain about in the time you said it. Like, come on, somebody. And that's the sign of a witch. And witchcraft. Come on, somebody. Amen. It tells on itself. But God said, be still. Be still and let the witch be a witch. With the warlock be a warlock. With the devil be devil. And in due season. And in due season. God, God will take care. God will wipe it out. God, God will wipe it out. Come on, somebody. He's already making a move. He's already moving. He's already sweeping floors. He's already cleaning up. He's already doing something. All you got to do is just. Anybody got some more popcorn? Come on, somebody. All you got to do is keep your trust in the Lord. See, because I'm saved by. I'm, I'm, I, I, I'm saved by. I'm saved by faith. faith. Don't own it. Lord, I bite up the spirit of fear. I'm saved by faith. Lord, I bite up the spirit of fear. I'm saved by faith. Praise the Lord. I thought you, brother. <laughs> I thank you, man. You see how hard it is to get someone to praise God to open them up. And you done been up here two times. And it's still bogged down. We are saved by faith. And that faith is in God. You don't have to cry. The rocks are cry. Come on, somebody. You just keep on blocking your path and see who step in there. See who get in front of you. See who walk around. See who give you blessings. And you sit back and say, I don't, I've been here all that time. I've been around. I've been sitting with God all the time. And why they get up and get on their feet? Keep blocking your blessing. Keep the same attitude. Stay in the same, stay in the same lane. Don't, 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 don't be conformed to the, don't let the spirit of your mind. Don't, don't come out of the letter and get in the spirit. Don't, don't get it. When you sit back and enjoy the ride, it's because you earned the right to sit down because you know how to praise him. Yes, uh, you know how to praise him. You know how to receive him. Yeah. You, the, the Pharisee offer you. See, the Pharisee is the same one that said, Lord, I paid my tithes. I'm there all the time. And look at this sinner. The Pharisees always accusing somebody else and looking at the fault of somebody else always standing within themselves. Uh, come on, somebody. Amen. But when God is in the blessing business, see, my blessing come from God. It don't come from nobody else. Uh, this right here is what God doing. As long as I've been on the face of the earth, ain't nobody done that for me. Don't nobody help me do that. But God. But God. Uh, but God. And I'm always able to stand. Amen. By the grace of God. 
Don't nobody give me a dollar. Don't nobody send that to me. Don't nobody bless me with that. They come to me for something, but they don't give me nothing. I ain't no good now, but I ain't borrowing nothing. I ain't running behind nothing. I might not have favor with you, you, or you, but God loved me. Come on, somebody. Uh, the God that you said, that, that, that you said, the God that you said, that you wish him, the God that paying your rent, the God that put food on your table, that you said, See, Simon, inside of himself, he was so concerned that this woman was a sinner that he forgot he was a sinner. I don't know who uh, who God talking to in here, that you have seen the worst in everybody else and the worst what everybody else did, but you ain't saw nothing you did. Huh? It amazed me how people can say preachers or deacons or this and that ain't no good, but can be in the bar all night long and can hold the rest of the night. Huh? With one leg up here and the other night with one. Y'all don't want to talk to me. It's amazing me how the preach ain't no good, but you can't keep the drawers on. Y'all don't want to talk to me. Uh, I mean, that tell it like it is. Uh, I'm talking about keeping it 100. You know, we, I had all these in the windows. But, 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 but the, the beggar is, is begging from the preacher that ain't no good. It must be all right with God. God bless him. He did to Simon. He said, Simon, he said, since I've been in your house, God tell me sometime, he said, you know, as long as you've been pastoring 27 years, and some of them ain't never came in to a service where you preach it or you pastor it, but they so crazy about you. Yes, sir. Come on, somebody, amen. Uh, I am a man of God, I am a seer, and I do know better. And when you know better, you do better. That's right. yes, sir. But I'm so glad that from my babyhood, from my childhood, God never let me depend on people. Amen. Come on now. He's always been my all in all. Yep. Yep. I've been connected from God before a lot of a lot of y'all was even born. Amen. Huh? Jesus. I've been a friend of God for a very long while. Huh? And I don't turn my back on him for nobody. Amen. Amen. Huh? 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 Amen. Ain't nowhere I go that I don't lift him up. That's right. I don't get one dime for the prison I put in there. I don't get one dime for the jail I put in there. I don't get acknowledged for this. I don't want that. All I want is to hear God say, well done, that good and faithful servant. I hear a lot of people say that. Look at what he said. He said, Simon, I have somewhat. So, and, and Simon, look at it, and, and, and he turned to the woman and said unto Simon, Simon, see thou this woman. I entered into thy house that gave me no water, but she has washed my feet with her teeth. Come on, somebody. She, she, in other words, this is coming from her heart. She's behind him because that's the order she's in. She's in love with him. She cares about him. That's, that's the order. That's the order that, that, that she's in. That, that's the order of humbleage. That's the order of submission. That's the order of acknowledgement. I, I, I know who you are. I, I, I see, see, perhaps Simon didn't sit in the water and, his, and, his, and wash his feet. 
Now, now, now watch this here. Perhaps Simon didn't wash his feet because Simon was always questioning him. Was he or was he not? Was he a man of God or was he not? Was he sent by God or was he not? And when you question it like that, when you scowl the offense like that, uh, one minute you're in, the next minute you're out. One minute you're praising, the other minute you're changing. But this woman here, she has no question in her heart who he is. See, she can go past her lips to get to her heart. I don't know who I don't know who God is preaching to, but she can go past her lips. See, it's easy to say I love you. It's easy to say I appreciate you. But to feel it in your heart. See, because what she has, see, she she has not even looked at Jesus. She's behind him watching this thing. But she looked at that, 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 that. here's the difference in her praise and Simon praise. She received him as a bad God said that she don't have to see his face. Amen. She know God said him. And if God said him, she, she knows the sin in her life and the tree that she connected to and she feels like she's not worthy to come before him. Huh? Praise be to God. But she, she, she's coming to this, this, this Pharisee's house that's questioning Jesus about do he know who touched him, but do he know who he led in his house? Huh? Do you know who your friends or your associates are and you questioning God? You got all kind of friends and all kind of lifestyle. But you question God, you yourself, you might not be 500 wealth, but you 50 cent wealth drunk according to God. You owe 50 pennies. Look at what he said. He said, she has washed my feet with her tears and wiped them with the hairs of her hair. What, what? First Corinthians chapter 11, 15. Somebody read that one. First Corinthians 11, 15. But if a woman has long hair, it is a glory to her, for her hair is given her for a cover. Woo, Lord have mercy. She washing the covering. She, she humbled her, see, see, the way she's humbled herself, Jesus Christ is her covering. The man that God sent is covering her. Come on, somebody, amen. And, 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 and I heard somebody say, how beautiful are the feet? Come on, somebody. How, how, what else am I going to do? See, because, because the reason I'm washing feet is because the devil bruised feet. And you wash them with the water, but I'm washing them from my heart. Yes. Come on now, huh? Come on, somebody, amen. So, so I'm washing his feet with the tears that come out of my eyes, but I'm so stirred up in the heart that I got a connection with God. I'm feeling God, and see, is that what goes into a man's mouth? But what comes out is heart, and these tears are raining like rain from heaven to wash his feet. Uh, and, 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 and because he is my head, because he is my cover, I submit myself to him. See, I hummers, I submit myself. Foot washing is a service of hummers and submission. And I'm washing it with my tears and wiping them with my hair. Total submission. And I thought myself not worthy that I should come or stand before you. Uh, see the oil is steady running now. God is talking about order. He's talking about I've not found such greater faith in all Israel. Come on, somebody. Amen. So what he said, he said, and God gave me no kiss. But this woman, since the time I came in, has not ceased to kiss my feet. 
salute one another with a kiss. Somebody's songs, two and twelve, partner. Oh, I thank God. Salute one another with a kiss. Amen. We we love and honor somebody. Go ahead. Kiss the son, lest he be angry, and he perish from the way. Ooh. When his wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed are all they that put their trust in him. Ooh, not just not just on the on 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 the jaw. I'm not worried. On the feet. On the feet that's washed and shone in the gospel. See, I'm not just kissing your feet. I'm kissing the gospel. Yes, sir. Come on, somebody. Amen. Huh? I, 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 I don't know who 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 pride and arrogance, who 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 tea, who 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 social life. Is, is knocking them from greatness in God, from, from getting ahead in God. I, I don't know who, who is sitting around in, in, in a group of haters and said they love us. Y'all don't want to talk to me because I heard birds of a... God, you laying there whispering in the midnight hour and contemplating who ain't no good. The only way you can tell who ain't no good is you got to be so good. And if you're so good, I smell a stink in the air, and it's called pride in the eyesight of God. Come on, somebody. Whatever lifted you up to be able to say who ain't no good, huh? In the ministry of reconciliation, in the ministry that uh, 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 we, we're here to save souls. God, God, God come to save and not to destroy. Amen. So if God come to save and not to destroy, why are you trying to destroy everybody? Why are you finding fault in everybody? Why are you put? are you not, you, you say you got a relationship with God, but you don't look nothing like it. Not inwardly. You look churchy on the outside. You clean with all I know. But inwardly, a dead man bone. And, and, and what, what he said, inwardly a dead man bone. He means that all have seen to come short of the glory of God. And if they hadn't been born again, they ain't nothing but dead. And you hooked up with a bunch of dead folks and dead folks bone. Come on, somebody. And your information that you get, who speaks into your life, into your, in your going, in your coming, come from them dead folks bone. The, the seed that was planted in the soil that God had cleaned up come from them dead folks bone. The seed that was planted come from that tree of huh, a death, huh, huh, good and evil, huh. So you good and they evil. Come on, so I'm just saying, amen. amen. So, so, so we the holy, and they ain't. And if they don't go here, they ain't gonna be saved. Amen. <laughs> come on, somebody. I'm just saying, amen. See, I don't care where you go. If you don't love God with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul, if you decide to sit by somebody and doing the service after service, right call and talking about everybody and showing who ain't no no good, I already know who ain't no good. Click block. Fuck <laughs> with no no the seat is taken. You got the stuff over there. You can't sit over. You got to sit over. All right, go to seat is taken. Because I ain't finna be hooked up. Because yes, God is sitting high. Look at him. And I'm either connected to the true vine or I'm connected to all this mess. And no matter what I say, God is sitting high watching who's speaking in my ears and what fruit I'm bringing. I'm supposed to be bringing fruit unto God, which is, which is the fruit of reconciliation. Now, how is everybody done got to be? No good and saving the ones I like. So what I done said, thank you, Holy Ghost. What I done said is I shall ascend in the heaven, sit on the right hand side of God. And I'll be the judge of who's good and ain't no good. When I say there ain't no good, there ain't no good. You believe that? And my whole posse said there ain't no good. We all click together, there ain't no good. And we are, we are not the fallen angels, we are the damned angels. I mean, come on, somebody. 
Uh, we the one already uh, ready to come on somebody. Who that standing in the way of their own blessing? Who that knocking themselves away from getting to where they're supposed to be? Who that hanging around judgmental people? The Bible said, come out from amongst them. Amen. Uh, clean yourself up. Wash yourself up. We deal with washing in, in the feet in the gospel of Jesus Christ. This, this woman here is washing his feet with her tears. She, she, in other words, she remorseful for her sins. Y'all don't want to talk to me. Uh, you, you find the fault in everybody else, but you ain't took time to repent your I'm just saying, amen. Uh, see, if you have truly repented, you wouldn't be able to find fault in nobody else because you remember that God died for your sin and that you was a sinner and he's assigned you to tell everybody that God died for my sin and he'll die for mine because you know what mine was. But he died for mine, he forgave me, and he hold nothing against me. So no matter what you done did, what you done said, how you done said it, come to God, he'll forgive. Well, he ain't no good. He can't come over here. God done holified me. God done set me apart. And if he was a man of God, he would know who that is sitting by. He most certainly do. He come to that, huh? Come on, somebody. He come to her. Well, he come to save sinners. He ain't come to do, huh? What I look like doctor on you and everything is clear on you. You all right? You need to be out there trying to doc on somebody else. Huh? Come on, so you wasting time. What we ain't got. Oh, I thank God. I give God praise for him. God, God, there ain't nothing wrong with God. Somebody, somebody ought to celebrate God. At some point in your life, the word of God ought to pierce your heart. It's hard to keep against the prayer. And, and sometimes the word of God ought to just pull you over to the side of the road. When God began to reveal to you the word that he ministers to you each and every day, you, you, something that ought to just pull you over to the side of the road and start you just straight out buku cry and remembering where God brought you from. So we so quick to forget where God brought us from and that's how we end up back where we came from because we forgot we already been there. You want to go? You want me to go see a movie? I already saw it. I already got it. I got it at the house. I can see it. I want my house off the press. Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. You, 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 you want, you want to dominate. You want to come and, and, and demons try to dominate, huh? Because that's because it's about dominion. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's about dominion. So I've got to have this certain dominion. I've got to reach out. I've got and whatever, whatever I do, I got to speak off into your heart. Whatever I do, I got to speak off into your life. Whatever I got to do, I got to wrap my arms around you and keep you. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that's whatever I got to do. I thank God. I give God praise, man. Somebody go and shout one time. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Let's conclude with this. Let's, let's, let's sit down for a bit. He said, My head with oil thou didn't not anoint. But this woman has anointed my feet with ornament. Did you hear what he said? Did you receive in the spirit what he said? I'm not talking about what the university taught you. I'm talking about did you receive from God what this word is? The word came from God. The word is God. And the word is with God. And it, 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 that did you receive what God said? See, I heard that in the book of Psalms. Amen. And uh, I heard that in the book of Psalms where he, where he anointed my head. What? With oil. Amen. I'm just saying around about that field first. He said he anointed my head with oil. Y'all y'all know anybody want to talk to me about that? See, see that oil is a covering that begins to destroy the yoke. But but this lady here has not only humbled herself, not only washed his feet, not only wiped his feet, but has anointed her head. His feet is her head. She is submitted to God. If you read in the book of Luke, around about the 10th chapter, around about the 38th verse or whatever, you will find out that Mary and Martha, Lazarus folks, came. 
and Mary, and Mary and Martha was supposed to be serving, but Mary come and sat at the feet of Jesus. That's right. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Uh, 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 see, see, in other words, uh, uh, if a woman is learning things, she can learn it from her husband, but he is her head. She is married to Christ. She has come and bowed at his feet and teach me, Father. Teach me, yes. Lord. Teach me, Almighty God. I come before you just like I am. I'm broken, amen. See, if you read that before in the chapter, he said, that I like this generation of the children that are playing in the market. And they said, we have piped to you. I done gave you the word. I done told you about order. I done gave you, but you ain't shouting yet. You ain't praise God yet. You ain't walking in it. See, because what, what, look at when, when they came in, when you hit a dog, he holler. And when God's word is hit dead on the head, ain't no way in the world like I said, hey, Lord, I thank you, Lord, because I received it. He hit me dead on the head. He came right in where I was. He, come on, somebody. And the anointing has destroyed the yoke because he hit it dead on me. That yoke was on me and it was holding me down and I can't hold my peace. But we and you and the yoke is one. You know what I'm saying? I may please come up here and tell you to shop. Huh? It ain't gonna be no shot in you. Huh? Cause you got that, you got that, you got that nail head come. You, you, you hide that nail head. Come on, somebody, amen. Yes, sir. Oh, I thank God. And she, she anointed his feet with all. She, 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 she anointed his feet is her head. So in the spirit says, she anointed my head with all. Jesus' feet is her head. Huh? And her head because if you don't know this, Jesus is the head of the, the church. He's the head of the body. So when she anointed his feet, she was anointing her head. She had already proven that by taking her hair, which is given to her for a covering, and wiped his feet. She had washed them from her heart wipe them with a head. See, you got to get, you, you got to be steadfast, unmovable. You got to receive this in your heart and your mind got to be stayed on the law. Huh? I, I don't know who the plane took off and was headed to a destination that you keep rerouting it. Come on, somebody. That you keep telling God, I don't want to go there. I don't want that kind of oil. I already know. My mama raised me right. I know I've been doing this for myself for a long time. Mm. Well, why did you even come to God? If you're that satisfied in the mess that you messed up in, that you say is good. God ain't hating on you because he came unto his own and his own received or not. And he went on about his business. They was already, they was, they was right in condemnation. They didn't want to be saved. They was all right where they were. They had many friends in hell. They had family members in hell. That preachers that preached and said was in hell. The preacher was preaching, oh Lord. Soon the maze in heaven right now. In God's hand. And, and, and old Bob back right there used to fornicate with Susan May and get drunk with her. Yeah. Please, please. I know she's in hell. I can't wait to see her. <laughs> okay, say it, huh? All right, I'm gonna get me a drink when I get them. Mm. Come on, somebody, huh? They say they got wine in heaven. They got to have some of that rock gut in it. I'm just saying. You know the devil that covered everything up. Yeah. Huh? You know, everybody don't want to go to hell. I don't need all that mess you talking about. The man's got to get up in. Y'all come out of the the Lord. Come out of the man. Come out of the Amen. Bring it up. 
ve değildi. Hayman, Taylan, bu ne kadar işte bu. Ne I shot it one time, but it won't. <laughs> I gave it my best shot. <laughs> uh, yeah, they ain't gonna run all over the floor. Act like God done done something so good, so great. Mm. Yeah, you ever want something in front of Good luck on that, and you know what I'm saying? You say, Praise the Lord, I got a good luck on that. Wherefore I say unto you, her sins, which are many, are forgiven. For she loved much, but to whom little is forgiven. The same love, praise the Lord, God. Mm-hmm. Yes. But I have yeah! We'll get a thousand dollars. Yeah! Man, love is real. And they that sat at meat with him began to say, He said, and he said unto her, Thy sins are forgiven. And they that sat at meat with her, with him, began to set within themselves. Still, still ain't none of them changed. None of them changed. All that good work. Everything that God just said, because they, they, they let it drip. And they, the spirit walked right past them. You can be talking to some people and they don't even get what you're talking about. Mm. They, they don't get what you're talking about because they have other voices. Mm. Other voices are talking to them. You tell some people about ordering the other voice, say, oh man, you ain't got to do all that, man. You're mm-hmm. crazy, all that mess. Just tell your time, it's not enough to do all that. Not enough to do because there's so much chaos. Ain't no order. But I thank God. I give God praise, glory, and honor. Amen. Somebody is walking in God's order. And when you get in God, I'm going to tell you something. I, I, I hear the Spirit. You can abide in that crazy order until hell freeze over and it's all right. But the kingdom of God is being built. And I know you want to be part of kingdom building, but that is a ministry of hypocrites as well. So, and sure, a desolate more than the children of the natural life. So that's an occasion for you and a thing for you as well. But God is sitting high looking low. Yes. And God, you're not going to bring your mess into God's house. That's how he got kicked out of the garden of Eden. You're going to have to sit back and enjoy the ride and let God do some things. You're going to have to let go and let the Spirit of God lead and guide you. The Bible says, except the Lord build a house, they lay there in vain. God has to build your spiritual house. God has to reestablish your life. God has to put you on your feet. Even though your sins are forgiven, God has to do from now. He said, thy sins are forgiven, go thy way. Huh? So in other words, God has bestowed his blessing upon you. But you go mindfully of what God has done for you. You remember where God brought you from, and you'll never go back there again because that wasn't the place that you desired to go to. That's somebody that's moving on a higher plane, on a higher level. That's not my decision to make. See, you can drink of the cup, but it's God that said, where you going to sit at? So you got you, you got to show yourself approved unto God. A work would need not be ashamed. You don't have to prove nothing to me, but you got to prove it to God. There has to be a change inside of your heart. There has to be a change inside of the spirit of your mind. You have to be on a different track, on a different. You can't travel. You can't keep traveling in the same lane 
and keep coming up. You can't keep playing the same seeds and expect a different harvest. At some point, it has to be spiritual and not carnal. At some point, you have to give your life over. Somebody ought to praise God. Somebody said, my life has changed. Come on, let us stand. Somebody said, my life has changed. Somebody said, my life has changed. Somebody said, my life has changed. For the better. For the better. The Lord. Lord is working some things out. My life is changing for the better. My life, my life is changing for the better. God is taking me somewhere. And I'm not resisting God. And I'm not being my own worst enemy. And I'm not knocking my blessing. I heard somebody say, just shut up. Just touch. Zip, put a zip on it. Just shut up and sit back and enjoy the ride. Stop stirring up things that you can't handle. Stop bringing things back to that old nature. Try to get something new in your life. Try to be somebody new. Try to walk with God. God not up with all that mumbling, all that complaining, all that stuff is always wrong. And when, when, when stuff is always wrong, you ain't never got to shout. You ain't never got to praise. You can't praise God. You can't shout to God. Because your mind is tied up in what's wrong and ain't never seeing what's right. Oh, I thank God. Your mind is tied up in the struggle and you have resisted the victory. Oh, I thank God in the name of Jesus. See, God gave me the victory and the devil ain't doing nothing but throwing out chaos. Amen. He said he's telling me why I ain't no good. With God, everything God does is good. Come on, somebody. See, I, if I receive God deep down in my heart, I know I'm good. I know I'm good because God acknowledged me. I know I'm good because God validated me. I know I'm that that I am because God validated me. Not because you, you, or you validated me. Not because the house don't validate me. Not because, he said, come out with my monster. Oh, I thank God. I thank God. I thank God. I remember that one brother's testimony up there in Ohio. That when the church kicked him out, that's when he grew up. Uh, that's when everything exploded. When the traditional people got rid of him, when the judgmental people got rid of him, when God brought him out from amongst all that hell and high water and judgment. Come on, somebody. I thank God. Amen. God is on the move. He's moving people around. But I, I, I heard the Lord this morning. He said, he's not going to wrestle with you any longer. He's not going to wrestle with you any longer. You know, when you tell some people about order, and you got to go through hell with them about order. And they always got some kind of hellish stuff going on. And they're blind to everything moving forward. You understand know what I'm saying? God, God, there's a point that God get to the point where, yeah, 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 yeah. Just, just let you stay how you are because if you desire to change in this length of time, you would have changed. Huh? If 20 some, 30 some years, you ain't changed. You're not trying to change. There's no, there, there are babies that are born into this world that are desire to change. And all the dirt that you think you can do is going to be dirty back to you. It's going to be dirty back to you in such a level that you ain't going to be able to deal with. Huh? Huh? Come on, somebody. Amen. Because God has been good to you. And because God is good. And because there are that. There are those out there yet that are, that are washing his feet with their teeth. There are those out there that may not have lived the best life, but are remorseful yes. and are crying and are washing God's feet with their tears. They're always before God. They're always on their knees. They're always crying out to God. Yes. They're always crying before God yes. because they're sorry for their sins. Yes. They, they, they believe that God is and a reward of them to do this thing. And, they, and they, 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 they've separated themselves from the old and grabbed the hope to the new. They've stopped being their own worst enemy. We can't nobody tell you nothing. We can't nobody show you nothing. When people got to go through hell and high water with you to get you to learn anything, it's just, it's just no, no. That's just that's witchcraft. 
That's witchcraft, that's sorcery. That's a demon. You tied up heavily in witchcraft. And witchcraft have you so blinded that you can't see. You see another life. You see another another ending. You see another thing. You you see the draw that's witchcraft you're dealing with. That's witchcraft you're dealing with. And to show it's witchcraft, God's gonna soon destroy it. God's gonna soon destroy it. God's gonna soon destroy it. The witchcraft, the old lady that it came from, and the old man that's always around. God is gonna destroy all of that. As sure as I'm a prophet, as sure as I'm a man of God, God is gonna bruise that demon's head. He's gonna bruise that demon's head. And you're gonna be sorry for the days and the time you tired of the witchcraft. That you could have walked right, that you could have talked right, that you could have lived right, that you could have gave yourself over to God, that you could have cried out. And guess what? When Saul started crying, it was too late. When Esau started crying, it was too late. You understand what I'm saying? God put before us life or death, a blessing or a curse. And we have to choose life. We have to choose the way we're going. Those that are already on their way up, you just keep moving right on. Rapture is this. Don't let nobody or nothing turn you around. Right. Don't let right. nobody not calling you by. Yeah. I ain't ready. Wait till I get dressed. You just keep right on pressing on. You just keep right on moving on. Because you got your heart right with God. God has been shaping up some things. God has been cleaning up some things. And he's a foot washer. Yes. And if God wash your feet, you ought to at least wash his with your tears. Oh, I thank God. I give God praise, Lord. I give God praise, Lord. Amen. And this, this, this is just hot off the press. All that complaining, all that negative speeches. Hmm. God is tired of it. Yes, Lord. God is tired of it. Yes. Men of God get tired of it. They just, it, 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 it just, it's, 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 it's a, 